Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg of HowToStretch.com and uh, haven't seen everybody in a while. How you been? You been stretching? Everything feeling good? <laughs> We're going to be taking HowToStretch.com in a new direction. Uh, I'm going to be starting a new blog. Uh, I'm going to be doing new videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing them every week. And the discussion is going to be that life force that flows in us called Chi. Uh, when I was in chiropractic school, we called the energy that enlivened the body the innate intelligence of the body. It, it flowed through the nerves, through the vessels, through everything, and it kept us alive. The difference between a corpse and a live person was that innate intelligence. In Chinese medicine, they call it qi in Chinese martial arts, qi, uh, C-H-I, sometimes spelled Q-I, depending upon um, which text you read so you don't get confused. In the uh, yogic tradition, energy is called pran, an individual person who is an expression of that energy, i.e. a living being, is called a prani. Uh, there are energy building exercises in, uh, in uh, yoga called pranayama. In Tai Chi, uh, there is called qigong, qi, okay, energy building exercises. So what I'm going to discuss is the anatomy of chi in real concrete terms that you could relate to in your everyday life, uh, where you lose your chi, how you hurt yourself, when your chi gets blocked, and uh, basically how to live a healthier lifestyle. Um, the basic idea is that flowing through us from head to toe, as if you would draw milk through a straw, is an energy called chi. The Chinese mapped it out 5,000 years ago, very uh, very scientifically, if you will, by observation and practice on uh, living people, uh, how this energy would flow, how it would get blocked, uh, hence it was the birth of acupuncture and the internal forms of the martial arts, Tai Chi, uh, Shingi, and Bagua. Uh, but it was all based on the life force of the body. Now, uh, somebody once asked me, well, what's the connection between martial arts and life force? I mean, if you're learning martial arts to, to, to beat somebody up, how is that? good for life force. Well, it's, to, it's not to beat somebody up, it's to protect your own life force. Uh, when you practice martial arts, it's to make sure that your energy flowed. If you were worried about something, if you had concerns about, if you were weak, if you could get attacked, all these different things. And along the way of, of training in the martial arts, people noticed that their chi, their bodily vitality improved and they became resistant to colds and diseases and aches and pains and most importantly, the things that worried them in their mind from day to day no longer had such a stranglehold on them. So the subject of chi has been uh, written about uh, and studied and made a uh, practical exercise of in several different cultures. Um, when somebody comes in to see me and they have a pain in their neck, if I were to diagnose it uh, from a uh, general overview, I would say their chi is stuck. What's that mean? Well, a bone's out of place, muscles are tight, nerves are pinched, and the normal flow of what's supposed to be going through a given area in any part of your body is not flowing. Ergo, a, a congested chi. Now, um, all animals have chi. Everything has chi. The grass has chi. Everything is alive with that energy. And what we do is we seek to, uh, in our daily lives, uh, everybody seeks to have pleasant experiences with their chi. Uh, nobody looks to burn their hand on a stove. That would be, you know, a burn. It would hurt. That's that's a negative experience for the for the skin tissues. Uh, that being the case, we look for, like I said, we look for pleasant but we look, we look for things that taste good. We look for things that feel good. Uh, and again, that usually is significant to our body that the chi is flowing like it's supposed to. So, uh, what I'm going to do over the next few months is relate how this basic overview of chi uh, has to do with your stretching, has to do with your eating, has to do with your posture, has to do with how you work, how you sleep, and on and on. Okay, so follow along with me. Uh, there's a new blog uh, that I started. It's called Mark Rosenberg DC. Uh, I'll put the information on at the end of this video, and you can follow along with me and tell your friends. Right? Bye-bye.